Hi there, my name is Leon. I am from Fly Scooters. And uh, what I'm here today is, is to show you how CVT works. CVT stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. And if you check out our last video, How Scooter Works by Jessica Rohr, it explains to you conceptually how it works. But what we did today is took the transmission cover off a scooter. Here's a GY6 engine. And it, once you take the cover off, you see three different components that make the transmission work. The variator, the clutch, and the belt. Now, all three work in conjunction to turn the final wheel. Uh, I'll give you a lapse demonstration and watch as I increase the throttle speed. See how the belt's ratio changes. So what we just witnessed is CVT working in action. And to play in more layman term, if you go back to the analogy of a bicycle, a mountain bike for example, as you change gear in the front and you go to a bigger, bigger gear in the front, it requires less paddling to go the same distance. Well, same thing here. As the gear ratio changes, as the belt expands in the front, it requires less turns in the front to, to, to turn the same distance in the back. And thus, it's how CVT works. Let's go to the last part of the transmission system, which is a clutch. Uh, clutch kind of works also like the back of your bicycle too, in the sense that as it spins faster, the belt goes further deeper down into the groove, and thus decreasing the ratio in the back, uh, requiring less turns in the front to power the back wheel, you see? And finally, you notice in the front of the clutch system, you have these three prongs coming out. What it is basically, in a neutral position, the clutch is not engaged. However, as it spins faster, these three prongs opens up and catch outer shell of the clutch. It's grabbing onto it and it's us turning the wheel. Well, let me give you a demonstration. Let me turn the engine on again and show you. Now watch as this catches off. Notice how it suddenly increased speeds. That's when, so that's is when the clutch engages the shell, and thus catching the wheel. Uh, one final note: please don't try this at home because it is quite difficult to take the transmission cover off and put it back on there. You have a lot, a lot of other gears. So if you really want to see it, I recommend you go to a, your local fly scooter dealers and they probably have one open for you to show you, but uh, if you take this out of at home, you might have a difficult time putting it back together, okay? Good luck, I hope you enjoyed it, and watch for our next video at flyscooters.com.